Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your own custom events that can be sent out by quest scripts and can be listened for by other quests. And what this sort of thing might be useful for is if you've made a series of faction quests, sort of like the Brotherhood of Steel quests or the railroad quests in the base game, and you want to be able to kick the player out of that faction when a certain event occurs, like maybe you mess up in another quest, or you progress too far in a rival quest line, or you just kill one of the members of that faction. Instead of having to have a quest that sends out failures to every single quest, so quest 1, set this stage, quest 2, set that stage, you can have a single quest that will send out an event, and every single other quest in that quest line that you attach a particular script to can listen for that event. So you just need to basically set it up and forget about it. You don't have to always be thinking, oh, I've added a new quest. I need to go and add that to my failure script. It'll probably make more sense when we go through it. So the way I'm going to set it up is I'm going to set it up so that when you kill an actor who belongs to a particular faction, it triggers the kick out quest and sends out the event to all the listening quests. But obviously I'm just going to set up one you know, listening quest. I'm just going to do it very basic for tutorial purposes. So I'm going to create an NPC to begin with. So I'm in the actor section, right click new, give him a unique ID. So I'm going to call him tutorial kick out man. His name will be kick out. So that'll be how he'll be displayed uh, in the thing. I don't think we need to worry about any of the other settings of this really. I'm just going to hit OK. And I'm going to create a faction for him to be in, which we're also going to be using later. So I'm going to right click new and I'm going to call it tutorial kick out faction and we don't really need to bother with any of the other settings because this is just a background faction it's not really going to be used for combat or anything like that it's literally just used for um for the listening out purposes so what does i call him tutorial kick out man so we're going to go back into him find the factions tab we're going to uh, do a new faction and we're just going to look out for the faction that we made before, which is kick out tutorial faction. OK. Save. So we're going to want to create two quests for this. One of them is going to be the actual quest that the player would be doing if this was like a real uh, thing. And the other one's going to be the kick out quest. So I'm going to begin by making my kick out quest. So I'm going to go into the quest section and right click new. And I'm going to call it tutorial kick out quest. I'm going to get rid of all these because we don't want it to be start game enabled because otherwise the player will be kicked out instantly, which we don't want. So, OK. And we're going to go back into it here like this. And this gives us all the rest of the tab options. And so we're going to want to go to scripts first of all. And we're going to add a new script. Click the new script thing. Hit OK. And we're going to call it tutorial underscore kickout script. OK. And if we wait a sec, this should now pop up. So we don't actually need that properties menu. So we're just going to right click in here and edit source. And this is really, really simple. We don't really need to do desperately much. So we just need to create our own function that's going to send out the uh, kickout quest. So I'm going to write here custom event um, tutorial kick out and it's as long as it's got a unique name we'll be fine and now we're going to actually send this event so we're going to create a, a script function so I'm going to write function and just call it basically whatever we want so let's say send kick out open brackets close brackets and I'm going to send custom event and then we're going to put the name of a custom event that we've defined uh, up here, which was in quotations, tutorial, kick out, close that. And I'm just going to end a function. I'm also just going to I like to put a little space there because it kind of makes, means I can see it a little bit better. So control S and we've made a mistake. Oh, yeah, I can see exactly what I've done. I didn't close my uh, quotation mark. There we go. So custom event, tutorial kick out, function, send kick out. We you know, can be named whatever we want. Send custom event and in quotations, which you have to open and close. So I forgot to do tutorial kick out, end function, close. 
So at the moment, that isn't doing anything. That's just sitting there in the uh, script. So we're actually going to need to create a stage now. So we're going to right click new and just give it number one. Right click new to get this to appear. And in this KMY quest thing, we're going to click the drop down and we're going to select a script that we made before. I'm just going to write KMY quest dot and then the name of our function from before, which was send kick out. I think. Open brackets, close brackets. We'll find out if I've done it wrong in a second. There we go. That's correct. And we're also going to want to run on start because once this quest is triggered we just want this to immediately run and kick the player out okay save so now we need this to actually run which at the moment it doesn't do and i think the easiest way to do this is to use the story manager which is what i did in my fourville mod um so if we just look for sm like this and because i've got a filter in it won't show up so get rid of a filter uh, kill actor event is the one that we're wanting, so there's a whole bunch of them already here for the base game, but we don't need to worry about those. So we're actually going to add a new quest node and just give it an ID, um, tutorial kick out node. And we're just going to want to attach a single quest to this, add quests. Here we are, because it's already filtered for kick out, helpfully, so tutorial kick out is our quest. So what we don't want to do is we don't want this to run every single time um, anybody does anything, uh, any, any NPC dies. So we're going to right click new and we're going to need to get his ID first of all. And we're going to go player and we're going to go run on uh, event, where is it? Event data, that's what I'm looking for. Event data killer equals one. And then we're going to want to right click new again, get his ID. No, we're not going to do get his ID. Right click new, get in faction. And we were called tutorial kick out faction. Okay. Run on event data victim. So these story manager events, they have certain data that's sent to the, uh, to the node. And so whenever an NPC dies, this will now check if the killer was the player and if the person who was killed, the victim, was in um, the tutorial faction. And now if it, that is true, it is going to run any of the quests in this node. And um, in our example, we've only got one quest in this node. And that is going to be um, our kickout quest, which means this will start that quest once an NPC in that faction dies and because we set up our stage to run on start the instant anyone dies without needing to write any script in or anything it will just trigger our kick out quest and send the event but at the moment this isn't isn't doing anything so we're going to need to demonstrate how to listen out for that event so I'm going to go into a quest and I'm going to create a whole new quest so I'm going to call it tutorial underscore um, kick out demo I guess quest name kick out demo that's how it'll actually appear in the game and priority it doesn't really matter I always put 45 but it's for this purposes of this it literally doesn't matter so also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it start game enabled and run once for tutorial purposes so I'm gonna imagine that you have a way you want this quest to start but for the tutorial I'm gonna have it start the instant the player enters the game just so that we can see it starting without me having to set up too much so what I've done is just did it off screen because there's not really any point me sitting showing it but I've just got set objective displays one and then objective demo objective that's gonna show up um, when the quest starts so next we're going to want to create a script and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to set up this script so that you can tack it on to any quest within the faction that you're wanting the player to be kicked out of and you don't have to edit or change it at all you can just literally tack it on to anything and it'll work so add new script I'm going to give it a name um, we've already called it this tutorial listener script I guess just as long as it's got a unique name and you can tell what it is so what we're going to do is we're going to right click edit source and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a property, a script property. So we're going to want a property that's going to point to the script that we attached to our um, kickout quest uh, here. 
So I'm going to write the name of my script, which was tutorial underscore kickout script property. And then I'm going to write the name of our quest, tutorial underscore kickout quest. And then the standard, we always just put the end here, also console save that because I'm wondering, yeah, okay, that's what seems to be working. Because I had a namespace at the beginning of mine, so I didn't know if I would need to put a tutorial new. Either way, that works. We leave as is. And then what we're going to want to do is, I don't need that open anymore because that's reminded me of it already. So now we're going to do our event. So we're going to do event on quest init, open back, it's closed back. So once the quest is initialized, once it's begun kind of running in the background, uh, this is going to run this event. So this is how we're going to listen. So we're going to register for custom event open brackets and now the name of our uh, quest which is tutorial underscore kick out quest and then comma and open quotes and then we're going to put the name of our event that we defined before which was tutorial kick out close the quotes close brackets end event there we go that's now listening so as soon as this quest initializes, which in my case it will do because it's set to run on start, it'll initialize straight away. It's going to start listening for this event. So now we're going to actually want to um, do something when it happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just an extra little property. This is going to become useful later. So I'm just going to go in property failure stage. Also console that. So I'm going to use that in a second. And I'm going to put my event in. So this is the important bit. Event. And then we're going to want the name of our script, which was tutorial underscore uh, kickout script dot. Then the name of our event, tutorial kickout. And now we're going to have to put in all the various functions and arguments. So again, the, the first function we're going to want to put in is the sending script, which is going to be the, um, the name of the... So the first property is going to be the name of our script, and then we're going to name the property. So the name of our script was tutorial underscore kickout script. And then I'm just going to put act sender. So that's the name of the property, and that's the actual name. So if I want to refer to that in a script, I wouldn't have to write out the name of the script every time. I can just write that accent thing. And then this is part of the syntax, but I don't actually know what it does, to be honest. Uh, we're not using it. I mean, these are just extra arguments we can pass to the event, but our event doesn't have any extra arguments, so it doesn't matter. And so I'm going to write self.setStage, and this is where the failure stage comes in that I've created before. Failure stage end event save okay so i just when i compiled that i did have a little error and it was caused i did comment before but i had a namespace at the beginning of mine so you can see here i have a little namespace tutorial new colon that's automatically been generated at the beginning of the script because of my settings uh, if you don't have that you don't have to worry about it but if you do have it uh, do add it in tutorial new um so next up what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have something that's actually going to trigger when we hit this failure stage and I guess we could just cram it all in in the failure stage once we create it, but I'm not going to do that because otherwise we could end up creating like a billion um, unnecessary script fragments. So if I had like 20 of these quests and every single one had its own failure stage, but they were all doing the same thing, then that would be completely pointless. Obviously, if you want to do something unique with your failure stage, don't do it this way. But um, if you, do, if you don't want to do any unique with each of your failure stages, we can literally just, you know, put this. And this is just a shut down request, essentially. Event on stage set. And then I'm going to do the properties int a UI state. And these, actually, I think you can call these anything, but I just always put them what the actual syntax, like in the engine, has it, like in the documentation, has it as being. So this is just on stage. So that's the particular stage. That's the item. We're not using items. We're only concerned about the stage, the actual stage that's being set, not the item within that stage. I never use those. So if a UI stage ID, so that's the stage that's being set, equals 
failure stage, which we haven't actually defined failure stage yet. So then we're going to want to shut down everything related to the quest. So self dot fail all objectives. Oops, what's the wrong kind of bracket? And self dot stop. End if end event. So now what it's doing is when it when the script realizes that the failure stage for this quest has been set, um, it's basically just going to run this. So it's going to fail all the objectives. So again, we don't have to put in set objective one failed, set objective two failed, set objective three failed. We can just fail them all and then stop the quest. So it's just going to shut down the quest. So that'll free up all the aliases, get rid of all the dialogue, all the quest items. It's, the quest is, is shut down, no longer running. And so now I'm going to create up, set up a failure stage. So for me, I'm just going to put two click new and we're going to click fail quest in here as well so it'll come up fails for the player it won't, it won't just vanish it has to actually be set up has to be set up to fail so i'll click the fail thing and the reason i did that integer here is because let, i want to be able to attach this to as many different um thingies as possible so um i want to be able to attach this to as many different scripts as possible so i might have five different quests and my failure stage might all be different so we can just double click in here and put number two because that was our failure stage. I'm also going to want to make sure this is filled in. This is something I've actually done in the background. So if I, just, I might just get rid of this actually. We might be able to also fill this. Yeah. So if you've just named everything exactly the same as you have done in the engine, if you've not called it a weird name or something, you can just auto fill them. I'll just fill that in for you. So now what you should be able to do is... If you had like 20 different quests all for a different faction so mq1 mq2 mq3 you can just go into every single one of those um oh, so that's the wrong, that's the wrong one go into every single one of those attach this listener script into it configure the two properties for your failure stage and auto fill this one which will always be exactly the same and that's literally all you would have to do you wouldn't have to think oh um if you had to fail your script that was sent but was making it for every single one fail you wouldn't have to add it if you added a new quest this will just listen in the background and you could have a dozen different ways of setting up the kick out demo as well you could add multiple ways you know if you progress too far with another faction we just all you have to do is trigger the kick out script and it sends out a custom event you don't have to worry about doing it for all kinds of different things so what i'm going to do is jump into the game now and demonstrate how that actually works okay so we're here at abernathy farm with our um example npc and as we can see the kick out quest that i created for tutorial purposes has begun to run so riverboat so once we kill this guy we're going to expect to see uh the quest fail and he's dead Oh, we failed kick out demo. What a terrible tragedy. So, that's basically it. That's for it for the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. And I also hope that was clear. Um, apologies if, uh, if if it wasn't as clear as it could have been or if any parts of it weren't as smooth as they could have been. Obviously, I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I'm just trying to get back into it. I know I say that I'm going to get back into it every single time. And then I often end up falling out of it again. But, you know, it's just not as... Not as much time to do these as there was when I first started, you know, God knows how many years ago. So yeah, as I say, thank you for watching, hope that was useful, hope that was clear, and uh, goodbye.